Welcome to the final exam, question number 26, and it says that the foundation shown above, and I reproduced it right here for the most part, shown above in plan, so this is plan view, is usually used to, and it's A, B, C, and D, let's put that over here, and just looking at this, before I look at the, the, the uh, the possible answers since it ha has this it th this column is butt up right against this footing I know that this is going to be a property line that's the reason like, they did that because you wouldn't do that you try to center that uh that column load because you're going to have a load coming straight down that column and straight down that column so if if you didn't have a property line issue right there it would look exactly like or not exactly, but similar to this one, if not exactly like it. So let's go ahead and look at our possible answers. It says the foundation shown above in plan is usually used to resist differential settlement caused by poor soil conditions. Differential settlement. Uh, I will say no on that. Um, I guess it's a possibility. You could say, hey, does this resist differential settlement does this type of I guess you could say hey you, you could justify this I, I'm, I'm trying to think how someone would think on the on an actual test you could justify that you could say well let's say that this is a less beam or less load coming in and here let's call this a column a less load co coming down than column B so you want a smaller footing, but then why is it not centered? The whole the whole big deal is it's centered. And since that has a smaller load, there's a smaller footing area, and therefore it would have the same pressure. You're trying to design for the same pressure, and therefore it could be because you don't want it to settle differentially. You could say that. It's a bit of a stretch. Say, bit of stretch. But we'll uh, we'll leave it up there. It's possible. It's not the right answer, but it's possible. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, cross it off. I just said it's pretty much not the right answer. So anyways, going on the B, it says resist eccentricity caused by a column located immediately adjacent to a property line. Property line, there we go. So this is our assumed answer right there. Our assumed answer is B. That's what, that's what, I, I'm sorry, not our assumed answer. That is our answer because that's what we assumed was the reason and that's the reason that they gave us. So there we go. Let's, let's double check and cross off C and D and make sure they're incorrect. Span utility trenches between pad footings. That sounds all right. You could have a utility trench in here. But once again, it's not as good of an answer as this. So that's more of a stretch. I would say this would possibly be a better answer. But this is by far the best. B, and then provide fixity for rigid frame buildings. And that's, that's not going to do that. All right. I guess it could provide some fixity, not fixity. Not fixity, but it might give a little bit more rigidity. But anyways, we know our right answer, so we're going to go with B. I will see you in question number 27.